Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a resolution to the boot device not found error that I noticed that some people are getting with their HP laptops. So this was a request by one of my viewers and it seemed straightforward enough that I could accurately and show you guys how to resolve it without too much of a hassle. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. So what I'd recommend doing would be for this specific HP computers, it seems that you'd want to tap the escape key while your computer is starting up to launch the boot menu options. So I'd recommend turning off your computer and then repeatedly tap the escape key while your computer is turning on until you receive a screen that appears like this. And then using your arrow keys on your keyboard, you want to scroll down until you get to the enter setup. And you know that you've hit it once it is highlighted. And then once the enter setup is highlighted, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Now using your arrow keys on your keyboard, what you want to do is go over to the system configuration tab if you have one listed here. As you can see, I do not have one in my environment, but if you did, you'd want to go underneath system configuration. And then you'd want to scroll down using your up and down arrow keys, or in this case, just your down arrow key, until you get to boot options. You would want to just left click on the boot options area to load a new screen here. And then you'd want to scroll down until you get to legacy support and you want to change that to enabled. So to change the value, you want to go down and look at the bottom of your screen where it says change value. You want to tap whatever key that is to change the value from enabled to disabled. So again, you want to have that disabled if it is enabled at the moment. So you want to make sure you disable that. And then you want to hit F10 where most people should be F10 to save and exit your computer. And then let your computer restart and hopefully your problem has been resolved at that point. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.